hey hello everyone how you all doing in today's video we are going to talk about the watch OS 7.5 and uh, it is a beta one i am really surprised how before releasing the 7.4 version to public apple released a beta of 7.5 to public so the build number of the update is if i'll go here in the about section this is the build number it is 18055 and there is f in the end so it obviously indicates we just start it and we may get four updates uh, i mean i guess apple releasing three to four betas of this firmware and then going out and releasing it to public well there are not really major new changes in this firmware but the one new feature and uh, many people were talking about it but actually to be honest my podcast app was not at all working since i installed the beta one of this firmware if i'll go here in the podcast app so we have some new podcast features we can't really see it it is just in the code and i can't really even open my podcast app for some reason after installing this beta i did use my podcast app sometimes on my watch earlier on the 7.4 version but i don't know why i'm not able to use my watch podcast app on this beta let me know down in comments below that if you have already installed this update are you experiencing this or if you have not if you use podcast a lot i would say just stay away from this beta i think so apple will fix this in the beta too but still this feature does exist at least for me well talking about the performance of my watch on this beta my watch is performing really good and actually after installing this beta i have got some animation stutters but in general the general performance of my watch is pretty good it is still really responsive obviously this is the se and se is not really using the oldest series 3 or series 2 processor so obviously this is fast but at the end of the day still the animation stutters i did saw some animation stutters after installing the update but but after some time i did notice that the animation stutter is now gone so after installing the update i did got that animation stutter for like 5 10 minutes but after that i didn't really experience that so there is that but in general the performance seems to be pretty much the same and uh, i would say the is really good in this beta too well now let's talk about the stability of this beta on my watch so after installing this beta on my watch the stability of this version seems to be pretty much all right it is not the best for sure well obviously it is the beta one so performance stability and everything is not the best here but it will improve over time We're now talking about the unlocking feature which a lot of people love i'm talking about the feature that uses your apple watch to unlock your iphone yes after installing this update i realized that using my watch and my iphone with that this feature on i noticed that the haptic feedback and uh, in general when my apple watch notifies me that uh, i unlocked my device is pretty much instant now and it's just so dope that the beta one is performing so good in terms of the response time of the unlocking thing and yes that's pretty much it i don't really want you guys to just uh, uh watch this video for like 8 12 minutes uh, for just the sake of getting mid rolls uh, i don't really want that i just want you guys to uh, know that this update didn't really brought any major new changes the only thing that this update brought is that i talked about in this video and uh, there is nothing like groundbreaking going on here and as i said in my previous video of ios 14.6 this update is basically a speed improvement of the previous version so if you find this video helpful and entertaining consider dropping a like and subscribe to this channel because i do tend to make more videos like this and peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode i have a great day